Call a meeting to order for the February 2019 Indian Trail Planning Board. I'd like to welcome everybody here. I'd like to welcome uh, our celebrity, Mr. Mike Head. <laughs> uh, we'll start with a roll call. Michelle Reese. Present. Cheryl Mimi. Present. Joe Litch. Here. Dennis Gay. Here. Uh, Jordan. Here. Robert, and Sydney Sandy. Present. Okay. And uh, we'd like to have someone approve the minutes for our December 18th, 2018 meeting. Do we have a uh, motion to approve? I make a motion that will be approved. As we have a second. I second. All in favor, right hand. Okay. And now we move to public items. So we don't have a public here yet, do we? <laughs> We can, we can certainly jump to uh, item five if you'd like to other business and, okay. and start with those to give the applicants more time. Okay, that'd be good. Okay. Well, um, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and discuss the other business items and I'll kind of lump this in kind of with the planning report. Um, I think just the, the first item, you know, I'd, I'd like to discuss is just, you know, a, a simple recognition of uh, our former planning board member, Art Spur, that, you know, most of you, I think, know recently passed away. Um, you know, Mr. Spur had uh, been, you know, kind of fighting a variety of, of, of ailments and unfortunately um, passed uh, a couple weeks ago, I believe. And so, um, you know, Mr. Spur has been kind of, uh, has been a you know, long-term Indian Trail resident. He's um, been, you know, had a, served in a variety of roles with the town of Indian Trail on a variety of committees. I think he's been very passionate about trying to advance um, the you know, Indian Trail's various causes. And so, uh, I know I've, you know, I've worked with him for just about all seven years since I've, I've been here and always appreciated the passion that he brought to, um, you know, into his role. And so, um, he certainly served the planning board well, always asking very insight, you know, very good questions. And I think, you know, storm water was one, a, a, definitely a, an area of focus for him mm -hmm. as it related to planning board, as well as just general growth and development um, concerns and issues. And so uh, I think we just wanted to, you know, kind of recognize him <coughs> as, you know, being a contributing member on this committee. It was, it was great to see that uh, the town council uh, voted to have him be citizen of the quarter recently. I thought that was a very uh, good recognition. I think someone mentioned that he, learned of that recognition before he passed. And so it was, uh, which was re really good as well. So um, again, I just want to kind of just, you know, just rec you know, recognize our, that uh, that loss. And certainly if anyone else from the planning board wants to say a few words, I'd uh, certainly be open to it. Yeah, I regret that um, we, there was a lot of confusion about his, when his memorial service was gonna be. And and uh, I, we heard a date that was unofficial. and. Uh, Rox and I talked about it, and Katie, I think uh, you and I talked about it a couple of times, and didn't find out until the evening prior to his memorial service when it was going to be and what time it was going to be, but I think it got published in the paper, and so uh, we couldn't let everybody know in advance when it was going to be because we didn't know. So anyway, but uh, yeah, we'll miss Art. He was a good soul, and um he, um, he was, I think, very, very uh, proud to serve on our board. And, and um, you know, uh, it's like uh, anything in life, uh, things do come to an end. And uh, just wish that he could have been with us longer. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, if I may, uh, I met Art through the planning board and, uh, and, and through Rotary also, because he was in the process of um, joining the Rotary Club. I think he finally joined uh, Matthew's Club and he was truly dedicated to his country and, and, to, the, and the, to the community in this uh, short period that I, that I knew him, so he'll truly be missed. Okay, great. And also we got a card going around um, to be signed, if, if you would please, and we'll get it mailed to the family. <clears throat> well, again, I appreciate that, and so we just, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with his his uh, surviving family. And so, with with that, I'm going to go on and move to the next item, which is uh, kind of just it lets you know that, that we're excited to have a new planner join our team. She's not here uh, this evening, but Carly Everhart uh, joined our team about 
two weeks ago, two and a half maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so uh, she came to us. She's just recently got her master's degree from Appalachian State. And actually, Mr. Mr. Gay met her, uh, I think, a week ago as he was in our office. And so um, she's also previously worked with Alamance County uh, doing GIS work. So uh, she is going to, she's taking in the planner role, uh, formerly Ryan Lip. And if those of you that ever uh, bumped out was with uh, Ryan. Uh, but doing a lot of GIS work for us, as well as um, just some you know, general planning work. And so she's going to be a great resource to us. Uh, she's excited to be on our team. And uh, we're going to bring her back to the, uh, to the planning board to meet you as well. And you, know, you, may, you may see her present a, a case or two from time to time. And, and so you'll, you'll get a chance to work with her as well. So we're excited about that announcement and just want to let you know uh, about it as well. Just, uh, so if, you ha if you're in town hall, don't, don't be shy about just kind of you know, uh, coming down to see our office and, and meet the, the team in person. I know you see names, hear names, and right. you know, go ahead and put a name with a face, so please do. Um, the next is uh, just kind of let you know about the uh, UDO uh, update. You know, as you, you know, we have several uh, planning board members that have been involved with that. Um, we had a pretty good milestone a couple weeks ago where we got a delivered a, a kind of a finished draft, complete draft, from our consultant Stuart, uh, you know, previously, at, you know, as it as it should, we were reviewing just little chunks of it, you know, chapter by chapter or cluster by you know, or um, deliverable by deliverable. And so, uh, what we received a couple weeks ago was a complete draft from from A to Z. And so, uh, we were Katie and I are both really excited to receive that. And so, what we're doing right now, we've got it in a Word document. So we're going, you know, as part of the project, we're kind of going through it ourselves to uh, make the refinements that we think are needed to address comments or just issues and, and get it to a point where we feel you know, comfortable with it. And uh, from that standpoint, you know, we'll continue to review it internally, have our town attorneys look at it and, and certainly give them an opportunity to provide feedback. And then you know, at that point, we're gonna you know, kind of start up the formal adoption process where it'll come to the planning board for a recommendation uh, and then ultimately town council will make the final decision on approving it. Again, we've you know, kind of gone through some preliminary presentations with the, uh, the planning board, trying to introduce you to, you know, what's uh, being done with the update, what's changing, what's being added, what's going away. Um, so we hope you have a good background, you know, on that. But uh, we wanted to, you know, we're excited about uh, where that project's at, and we just want to kind of sh again share uh, share that news with you, and certainly take any questions if you have any. Okay. Um, the. Last thing I wanted is to report on, this is just a minor item, but uh, at the next planning board, or I guess at the, at the next uh, March meeting, uh, I know we'll have a plan, uh, planning board item, but we'll also have uh, the tree board will be getting together. Uh, we have an alternative landscape plan request, which um, for those of you that um, haven't maybe served very long on, on the planning board, the planning board also serves as a tree board. And you may remember this from your orientation. Well, a key role for the tree board is is reviewing and providing recommendations on what we call alternative tree protection or alternative landscape plans. And that, those are plans where it's, in our, it's a process in our, our ordinance where if a uh, property owner or developer is having a challenge meeting the strict requirements of our landscape or tree protection ordinance, they have the opportunity to go before the tree board and present an alternative plan. So think of it as almost like a landscaping variance, if you will. And so the, the tree board reviews that and provides a recommendation to the planning director, myself, and then ultimately the planning director makes the final decision on whether or not that you know, alternative plan should be uh, approved or not and incorporated into the site plan drawings. So we have a uh, light industrial project in one of our older business parks, um, Industrial Ventures, and um, it uh, is uh, having, some, you know, having some trouble meeting the, uh, there's a, a residential area to its rear, and it's having trouble meeting the 50-foot buffer requirements amongst other challenges with the site. It's, one of those kind of last parcels in the in the developments, if you will. Um, so, uh, anyways, we will have a plan uh, pr to present before you at the tree board meeting next uh, in March. So, I wanted to just make you aware of that. Um, if there's if you have any um, you know, questions about that process, I'd be happy to you know offline, I'd be happy to kind of walk you know, talk to you more about that. But I just want to share that with you so you're not surprised when you see that on the agenda. Rox, will you be will you be sending out some information on it, the partial number, so that we can yes. you know, possibly go out and look at the site? Yes, before with, we... with your uh, with your planning board packet, there'll be uh, an agenda just you know, for planning board, and then whatever case okay. items we have for that, you'll get a second agenda for tree board, and then there'll be a memo and some drawings to look at for the tree board. So you'll get that with your planning board packet. Okay. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. 
But uh, you know, at present, I think that's all I have to, to share with you from uh, as a kind of a planning update or under other business. And uh, if I can answer any questions for you from you, I would be happy to. And uh, Kate, we, uh, with the uh, yeah, with the public comments, did you get any word from from the applicant? So go ahead. Yeah. So, Mr. Chair, if if you're comfortable, uh, Katie's prepared to go ahead and jump to item uh, four, uh, the Austin Village fuel station. Okay. And unfortunately, our applicant isn't here. We 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 hope they'll come in. You know. At, uh, but you know, we do know we have really some nasty weather and, and, and there may be other things going on that for affecting road conditions. So if you're comfortable, we're comfortable moving forward. Sure. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. All right. So <clears throat> The request before you is a conditional zoning amendment. It's a major modification uh, for a Harris Teeter fuel station in the Austin Village overlay district. The request, uh, so I'll back it up and say Austin Village was established with what we call a conditional use district back in 2001. So this request is to amend that original, original what we call a CUD in order to permit a fuel station in which would be an accessory use to the Harris Teeter grocery store. Uh, the current zoning is, is conditional zoning district, general business district within the Austin village overlay, and that will stay the same. So the proposed zoning is staying the same. The modification is just simply to permit a fuel station again, in conjunction with Harris Teeter. I've attached a copy of the concept plan, which you also received in your staff report. This is this is how it would front if you are if you are standing on Potter Potter Road. So get my mouse going here. So this would be the sidewalk sidewalk here again. Potter Road Chestnut Lane would be further over here. Um, as you can see, it's just a small fuel station. It's not like the Circle K across the street. This fuel station would just have the small building where you can pick up a couple of basic things and there's one person manning it. And then you have the actual pump stations there um, to orient you a bit, which I know, again, you have in your packet the full concept plan. Back he Further back here is the parking lot for Harris Teeter. And you can expect, it. I'm not sure when, but within the near future, you can expect additional development here along at that intersection of Chestnut Lane and Potter Road. Here's an architectural rendering of how it will look. It will certainly complement the existing buildings out there. Here are just some photos to help orient you a bit. Again, this is, is, this is standing on the side with the Circle K gas station behind me and uh, Potter Road here and looking toward the site where it would be over here is the, are the Austin Village homes. The, they are currently under construction and just recently built. And here is Potter Road looking down toward Chestnut Lane here at that intersection. A vicinity map here to orient you a bit. Again, uh, fuel station is going to be here. There will be some development completely unrelated, uh, unrelated to this particular item, but in also in the Austin Village area, that'll eventually develop here. But for now, this amendment is simply to, again, permit the fuel station right here. Here's Harris Teeter. Again, Potter and then Chestnut. The zoning map. This is shown as a shade of blue, which for us means it's the general business district. Across the road here, you can see a lighter shade of blue, and that's the neighborhood business district. But again, the request is to amend this. That is the general business district. Anything yellow here, of course, again, is a type of residential use. When we look to the future land use plan from the comp future land, land use map from the comprehensive plan, we can see, of course, that it calls for this area to be mixed use. And this is, in fact, mixed use. Uh, um, so it is consistent with that. And it's also consistent with the master plan that we have in file. Because again, it's to provide a mixture, of, in this case, it's of commercial uses. Um, don't quite have the residential element here, but um, 
around the intersection, certainly you see the mix of residential and commercial uses. Community meetings, the applicant, of course, was, requ was required to hold community meetings with staff. Two of those were held on November 29th. Uh, between the two meetings, five people attended. Um, I was not the one to attend that particular meeting, um, but the, the folks who did attend just certainly expressed their support or just no, no complaints uh, in general about the project. Always a plus. So recommendation. Staff does uh, find that this is consistent with the comprehensive plan. And at this time, I'm going to read the findings into the record. The proposed UDO amendment is consistent with the following goals of the comprehensive plan. Land use and housing number five, the proposed use would ensure attractive land development by emphasizing high quality design as consistent with the existing retail center and also add to the mix of different types of land uses within the Austin Village. Economic development goal number one, the requested addition to the conditional district will complement the existing uses within the shopping center and support a more balanced tax base while providing some employment opportunities for citizens. This rezoning request is a reasonable request and is in the public interest because it promotes the goals of the Indian Trail Comprehensive Plan in the areas of land use and housing as well as economic development. It is consistent with the adopted plans within the town of Indian Trail. Staff does recommend approval of this request. I do want to just state for the record the applicant has been fantastic to work with. I'm not quite sure if it was a, I, I don't know if they're held up in traffic um, or if there was a miscommunication in the meeting time. I'm honestly not sure, but they've been excellent to work with. So I just want to say don't let that deter you that they're not here right now. But I'd be happy to answer any questions if you have them. Katie, this is pretty much the same thing that we uh, heard over on Mustang Drive. Oh. That Harris Teeter, is that correct? Oh. Okay. Um, Except this time, uh, the, we don't have the subdivisions. That preceded my time here, but yes, mm -hmm. uh, it's my understanding that they were originally looking to go there, and of course, have changed gears to go here. Right. Yeah. And I would like to point out that we have Miss Maggie Jones in the audience. So when we get there, if you have any questions, she is representing the applicant. But yes, sir, it's, it is similar to what you heard. Any questions? I, I got a couple questions, Mr. Chairman. Um, you did say there was going to be an attendant there That's at, at the site. Is that correct? You do have the option to have an attendant there. Maggie, will there actually be an attendant? Yeah, and this is Garrett with Harris Teeter. Hi, Garrett. We'll How's it going? Good Good need to address those yes, those sir. Yes, please. please. Thank do. you. Garrett Marvetz with Harris Teeter. Uh, yeah, there will be an attendant on site from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, inside the kiosks to help customers with cash transactions or anything along those lines. Um, the pumps will be active 24 hours a day though. Okay. So if you were to come after that time period, you would be able to come up and purchase fuel with a, a you know, debit or credit card. Okay, uh, well that takes care of one of my questions. That hours of operation and, uh, and the pumps too. Uh, um, and, and I know you'll have security cameras there too coming because after hours, any activities, trash, um, other activities going on there, you'll have be in control of that, right? Absolutely. The state of our security system with 360-degree um, security cameras, and it's um, monitored remotely 24 hours a day. And your entrance, if I saw it correctly, you're coming in the existing entrance, um, going into Harris Teeter, is that correct? Correct. Same and, and shopping center entrance. Spilling that off from today. there, okay. Okay, I think I saw a diagram earlier, and I just wanted to, be sure that was correct because uh, okay yes sir mr chairman that's all i have do you uh is i know i get the points uh and have to go to a bp now to get my credit for the gasoline so would that switch over to the harris teeter pumps or does it still apply to the bp I'm it still curious. applies to both so you can continue mm -hmm. to fuel at bp or um harris teeter obviously we'd love to have you shop at our harris teeter fuel center um and you know follow through with with our customer service and um, the, the products and availability that we have, mm -hmm. but you still be able to use them at BPs. Okay, gotcha. Any other questions? All right, so again, staff recommends approval, but we certainly do need to have you uh, include the <coughs> findings. So receive the staff report, consider the findings, and then, well, you'll make your decision and 
in, in that you will include the findings. Do we have a motion to accept? I'll make a motion to accept with the, with the findings. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. So those who would like to, uh, to approve it, right hand. Anybody against? I think it's uh, unanimous. Thank you. As, as read, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Chair, there's, <clears throat> excuse me, there's no public comments. I just wanted to point that out to you. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> We have any further business? No further items. No further items. <coughs> and no, no more tree things or anything tonight. So at this point, um, I guess we just uh, looking for a motion to, uh, to adjourn. So moved. Do we have a second? second. All in favor? Right mm -hmm. hand. That was a quickie. Mr. Chairman, if you pass that card.